Thanks, Sharman. Well, cars, ferns, flowers, teacups, pools. How long have you been creating these beautiful pieces of art? Oh, I guess in my head forever, and on canvas full time, ten years now, almost ten years. When did you start drawing? When did you find out that you had this talent, this amazing talent? I I don't know how when I got amazing, or well, I'll, <laughs> I'll accept that amazing comment. I like that, <laughs> but I knew I wanted to be amazing and to draw in color from grade three, as grade early now. as grade three, and coloring. I loved coloring books and started there. That you're you're from Montreal. You are a, well. You're from the townships, I think, aren't you? Not really. Born born in uh, Quebec, but we moved around quite a bit. There's Montreal's home now as my as yeah. an adult. Yeah, uh, your Cuban cars. I mean, I just love them. I'm looking at one of them right now. Your Cuban cars were featured in a Gazette article some time ago. They are so realistic. Uh, you know, you can almost smell the cigar smoke coming from them. What made you do cars? And what made you do Cuban cars? And what made you do them front on? I'm not sure what drew me to cars. I've always noticed details of them when, from when I was little. And in my first exhibit, I had a whole bunch of subjects, and some of them were cars. And everyone said, "Your cars are amazing. You have to go to Havana." So I trotted off, found, uh, as you know, many, many old cars from the 50s. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They they really speak to you, don't they? Yeah, they were like they've been called portraits almost of these 1950s cars. Uh, they're just gorgeous. Do you ever? Are, can somebody commission one of these? Because I think something like that would be a great gift. Now, Christmas is a little close. I know you can't do it uh, um, in this short notice, but you know, maybe a card saying something special is coming your way, and you don't have to wait nine months for it. Oh yeah, like a gift <laughs> a certificate for a commission for sure. <laughs> yeah, I've done many car commissions. People that have special old cars in their family and get me to do a painting of whatever size. Really? And, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and people are are happy to see it in paint in why do canvas. You, why do you do? Them front on. I do side view also, mm -hmm. but front on. I don't. I don't know. That's they seem to be question. the most popular. Yeah, they're staring right at you. My florals are a bit like that too. They're in your face, mm -hmm. uh, head on. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now that's a big jump. We've taken a big jump here from cars to florals. Um, how do you create as an artist what I see in your work, which is movement and flow? I mean, the flowers look so alive. It looks as if they're dancing. Hmm. Thanks. I like that. Well, sometimes I'm dancing when I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you put what music? Do you have music on when uh, you're painting? Yes, everything from classical to uh, rock. Uh, everything. I listen to everything. Depending when I did the Cuban cars, I was listening to Cuban music. That was a lot of fun. So I'm energized for sure by music while I'm painting. That's amazing. Well, what about flowers? What would you? What's the music that you'd listen to for those? Oh, I listen to a lot of uh, Leonard Cohen, Johnny Cash, old old rock, I guess. Johnny Cash for flowers? Oh yeah, love really? Johnny. Really? <laughs> you know Johnny Johnny Cash? I see cars. Johnny Cash? I don't see flowers. We're talking with Susan Pepler at Montreal Artists. I mean, these these things just jump off the canvas at you. Now you're also working on swimming pools. Yeah. Wait, I, where does that come from? I mean, I was in Florida, the first one, at, in uh, at the Hotel National, and the pool in the back, when I saw it, took my breath away. It was the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful scenes I'd ever seen. I thought, I've got to paint it. And then another time in Havana at the Hotel National there, um, they've got beautiful pools around their property, and I just find them beautiful, sparkling, alive. There's something about reflections and palm trees reflected in the water that just I find uh, mesmerizing. See, you see things in objects that other people probably don't see. They might see, see it you as see, a painting, you see, but yeah, you see life in the inanimate. Oh yeah, big time. Even the, the teacups. People have said me, to me they're alive and buzzing. With See now, the teacups are great because if you've got your, you know, grand aunt M is a little old chip teacup in the back. I mean, you do wonderful. <laughs> They're Thanks. gorgeous, Thank and you. with some flowers behind beside them, perhaps. Have you got any exhibitions on at the moment? I have some work on display. We had a little party at the McGuigans uh, last night, and they're uh, showing some of my work. They're on Saint Catherine Street. Yeah, forty four thirty one Saint Catherine Street West. Um, and they're open every day, and I do uh, show often uh, out of my studio, studio visits, so you can go on the, what go, is the web page? The web, my website's just my name, susanpepler.com, and Pepler's P-E-P-L-E-R, 
Um, and by the way, if you go onto that web page, you have got you've got all of the paintings that you have in there. Some of them are all already sold, but they you, it'll give you an idea of the work that Susan does. It is absolutely glorious. It really is, and I think it'd be a great gift, a very special gift for someone at Christmas. And as I said, you can also commission something. Maybe give the person a card. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you so much for joining us on Showtime. A pleasure.